Audrey and I'm a pharmacy student. Hi, my name is Taylor and I'm also a pharmacy student. And today we're gonna to show you some cool things about pharmacy. And that includes non-sterile compounding, sterile compounding, and facts about medications. Let's get to it. Normally these would be pills, but to show this concept, we're using Smarties and I'm going to be titrating these tablets with a mortar and pestle. Now that the Smarties are in a fine powder, I'm measuring out five grams of the powder. Now I'm putting this powder on what's called an ointment slab in order to try to make this into an ointment. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to measure out what's called our levigating agent. This is glycerin and I'm going to get just about five mils of it. There we go. I'm just going to pour it right over like I'm putting gravy on mashed potatoes. You can see the powder doesn't really like the liquid. That's why we're gonna take a small spatula and we're gonna press it in to kind of force it into a thick paste. This can take a little bit while. You have to really use your muscles to kind of push in the powder so that the Smarties take it. It's getting into kind of a gross looking consistency, but it'll definitely look a lot better once we add our lotion base. Now I'm weighing out the ointment base, which is Vanna cream. Now we're going to do what's called geometric dilution. So we, I don't want to just scoop all of this lotion into this uh, drug, which is the Smarty paste, because then it won't mix evenly. So what I do is I grab a little bit about the size of my blob of Smarty, and then I just add that together and try to kind of swoosh it more evenly. And you might have noticed I'm using a larger spatula now because it's easier to mix the drug with the cream. And we want this to look like a uniform cream. So we don't want it to look like white with specks of pink. We want it to just look a light pink. The last step when you finish your preparation is called packing the jar. So you just take an ointment jar, take a little bit, and you try not to get it on the sides. And you just continue that until the entirety of the formulation is into the jar. <laughs> and you can see this doesn't look great because it's kind of an amorphous blob. So we wouldn't want to give this to a patient. So what we do is we put the cap on and we bang it against our hand a couple of times. And if you take it off, it looks like a little dollop. Hope you've enjoyed this part of non-sterile compounding. Uh, now we're gonna move to Taylor with sterile compounding. So now we will be doing sterile compounding, which is making an IV and the IV hood. So let's just get started and come garb with me.
So today we'll be making an antibiotic and this one is called Cefpine, but we actually have sugar in here today and we'll be using water to reconstitute it and then we are going to put it into this dextrose bag, which is actually sugar and water. So we first have to wipe this down, everything down with alcohol to sterilize everything. So we will start that. we are in the ante room where we garbed up and now we will be going into the clean room which has better air quality so it makes the product more sterile. So uh, now we are in the clean room and first we have to clean the IV pudding. down all of these materials again. So what we need to do is we take the syringe and we'll have to take 10 milliliters of the water and inject it into the sugar. And then once that is reconstituted, we will inject that into the IV bed. Hi everyone, so medication comes in so many different forms. We want to show you how we can compare them to candy. Some medication can come with an enteric coat, which is being covered in a hard shell similar to M&M's. Some medications come in a gel capsule form, and this is similar to boba pearls, as they are liquid filled surrounded by an outer coat. Dissolvable drugs sit in your mouth and break down similar to soft mints. Medication in the form of a suspension needs to be shaken up before drinking. Similar to hot chocolate packets being mixed in with milk. If you let it sit, all the parts will sink to the bottom. Medication in the form of a solution mixed together easily and the particles won't sink to the bottom even when sitting out, just like Kool-Aid. Some medication like vitamins come in a chewable form, very similar to gummy bears. All right, everyone, let's play a quick game. Can you guess which side has the medication and which side has the candy? Pause this video and whenever you're ready, click play. All right, so if you guessed this side to be hot tamales, you are correct. This side is the medication called ferrous sulfate. Now for my Tums and Smarties, if you guessed this side to be the Smarties, you're wrong. <laughs> this is actually Tums and this side is Smarties. Alright, thank you everyone for listening and I hope you learned something new about pharmacy.